Hey guys, it's Miss Philly and Loki Pokey Bear. Loki Pokey. <laughs> we just finished our walk and then I had to go to Dollarama. Um, so I want to show you a Dollarama haul. So this is everything here was $23.90. So, first thing we got was, of course, for Loki, his bully stick. He loves these. I love these because they're just one ingredient. They're kind of expensive. They're $4, but it's just beef pizzle, whatever. I don't know what pizzle is. But I usually just break these into fours, and then he works on it for, like, a good solid hour. Keeps him busy because sometimes he's, like, bored at home. And, you know, I feel like he needs a backyard to run in, and I don't have a backyard. My apartment complex has a dog run, but I'm scared because he's a jumper. He can jump. He jumped out of my car, out of this window once, okay? No, Loki. Oh my God. No. So he's a really high jumper, and I'm scared he's going to jump, and then he's going to run on the street, and something horrible might happen. Happen to happen. <laughs> So I don't really take him on my dog run. Uh, sometimes I will, but I keep, like I'll still use the leap. It's whatever. Um, yeah. So anyway, I would say Loki's food per month is about okay. I'll say I spend about twenty dollars a week on his treats, and then about eleven, twelve dollars a week on his food. So. The food that I buy him is like a special specialty brand food. Food, I buy him, I used to buy him the one that's refrigerated, but now I buy him the one that is, it's still natural, but it's not refrigerated. It's like a lamb, carrot, rice kind of a combo. I used to buy him like a chicken and a beef, but he really likes the lamb a lot. Um, so I buy him that, it's like $12 for like a big like roll. And that usually lasts him a week. So that's about $12. So. 12 times four, that's $48 a month on his food. And then his treats, let's say, yeah, $20 a week probably. So two, four, six, eight, that's $80 a month on his treats. I usually like to buy him like the bull, anything that's natural, like the bully sticks. I don't buy him anything that's rawhide. I like to buy him the collagen, the beef, the um what else there's a few treats I but sometimes they're expensive for like one is like four dollars so the bully sticks are good because number one it's natural number two it's not as expensive like that much of a collagen is like four dollars I mean I guess I could shop around but I usually buy it from bulk barn anyway <laughs> that's enough talking about that I haven't drinking drank drunken or whatever speaking of in one of my videos, I think my um, Hermes video, the short that I did on YouTube, there's so many people be, like saying, like I said, shooken. When I said shooketh, like do people not know what shooketh means? Like, hello, it's slang, like live a little. Anyway, um, I bought, I haven't drinking, drank, <laughs> uh, carbonated water a lot, uh, a lot recently. I've been drinking a lot of lemon water, so I'll just do like a pitcher in the fridge. I'll fill it with ice, filtered water, two packs of stevia, and then I will take one lemon. I will slice the ends off and then squirt those inside. And then I'll chop the middle into three and then just let them kind of um, infuse in the water. So that's what I've been drinking a lot of lately. I think the last week that's all that I've been drinking and I kind of miss the carbonated water. So I bought four of these or three, three of these. And then uh, speaking of lemon, um, I'm out of lemons. So in case I'm in need of lemons, I just bought the real lemon, the real lemon concentrate. I don't know if lemon from concentrate is good, but what are the ingredients? Water, concentrated lemon juice, lemon oil, and sulfites, product of the USA. So hopefully this is good. But have you guys had, ex I mean, I've used these before, but not recently. It says natural. So I don't know, natural. So <laughs> anyway, bought two, two for $1.50. That's way cheaper than freaking a uh, sack of lemons. I bought some Mrs. Vicky's spicy dill pickle chips. I like this flavor. 
Usually I don't, but I like that it. it feels a little different than regular gel pickle. This I bought because it was cheap. And yeah, I bought it because it was cheap. It was 2 dollars and you get like a few in here. Oh, it says 100% natural. So that's good too. Okay. Basically, it's chicken wrapped starch bones. And I read the gourmet dog treats. I read the ingredients. It says made with real chicken, high in protein, helps promote dental hygiene. So ingredients are starch, calcium, chicken, vegetable, glycerin, salt, and sorbitol. And a preservative, potassium, potas, pota, potas, potassium sorbate. Um, but yeah, so we bought it because it was cheap. I don't feel like, I don't feed him. Oh my God, I can't talk. I don't feed him unnatural um, preservative treats that often. It's very rare. So, but I do like to incorporate it sometimes so he's not like completely um, intolerable to it in case he has some, like sometime, you know what I mean? Cause I feel like if you put your dog or anybody, like even humans on a hundred percent natural, then they're gonna not have a tolerance to unnatural things. And then when they eat that or have it out in public, it's not gonna be good for them. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Anyway, yeah, so we got him that. I got some batteries for the cameras that I sell. And the last thing I got were these, which I love so much. So I bought four of them. And I feel like they're also healthy. I was gonna buy some chocolate, but I was like, nah, we, summer's fast approaching. We best to not be eating chocolate. These Blue Diamond Smokehouse uh, Almonds. Yes, I pronounce it almonds because if it was pronounced almonds, there'd be two L's, okay? Anywho, um, these are so good. They taste so good. I don't even know if they're healthy, but basically 260 calories for a package. Carbs are eight, fibers are four, protein is nine, cholesterol is zero. Potassium is 230, so that's not too good. Ingredients are almonds, vegetable oil, probably not the best. Salt, sugars, natural hickory smoke flavor, yeast, hydrolyzed corn and soy protein natural flavors. So all of that was $23. Seems a little expensive, but whatever. Um, also, I watched a movie called Breathe. I, I It just popped up on my freaking feed. I don't think it's the only place I watched it was on my streaming service that is like not really supposed to, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, was it on Pirate? No, it wasn't on Pirate Bay. It was on Soap Today. Anyway, I watched, it just popped up on my feed and I was like, oh, this looks interesting. It looked very apocalyptic, which it is. But the cast was like stellar. It was Mila Jovovich, which I love her in like The Fifth Element and the Resident Evil movies and Mila Jovovich, which is like a, a great action kind of actress. And then in it was Jennifer Hudson. And I was like, oh, Jennifer Hudson in a post-apocalyptic movie? What's up with that? And then the girl from, I forgot what her name was, but um, she was in, she was nominated for an Academy Award when she was a child. Something, uh, Beasts of the Cross Side, something like that. Anyways, she was like one of the youngest um, girls to be nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress. She was in it, and then Common was in it, and then Sam Worthington was, it was like a stellar cast. And I was like, okay. And then add on the apocalyptic kind of take on it. It was a pretty good movie. I liked it a lot. I feel like Jennifer Hudson was a little bit out of place in it because she's, Jennifer Hudson is very like sassy and like, you know, so to see that kind of um, person in a post-apocalyptic post, post, post movie was new to me, which I, I guess I haven't seen it before, but it was nice to see. It was still a good movie. I, I love Jennifer Hudson. She's a great actress. I mean, she won an Academy Award for Dream Girls, but um. Basically, the premise of the movie was that she, um, the Earth's oxygen has been depleted and now you kind of have to live on Earth with no oxygen or you have to have some sort of like a system where you live or wear like these masks and ox oxygen tanks. So it was pretty good and I liked it. So, so yeah, if you want to check out a post-apocalyptic movie, that was a good one. Not the best. It was good, but not like crazy good it was just good to watch like I didn't fast forward through it which was a good thing and I finished it which is also a good thing which means it kept my interest anywho yeah um I guess we're going to go home now 
and oh i want to talk to you guys about something crazy okay you guys know that i'm 90 percent vegetarian right which means i still eat meat but not frequently like literally i'll eat meat maybe maximum three times a week like say monday night and then maybe wednesday morning and then maybe like sunday night and if i eat meat it's like tiny little pieces of meat not like a big pieces anyway i decided yeah yesterday to eat a big piece of meat i ate like these like maybe this size of meat and I ate another size like this and another size like this. And all of a sudden I've been, I was chewing on the last piece and I was like, oh my God, this is not sitting right with me. I literally ran to the bathroom and up chucked everything into my toilet. It was a disgusting mess. I felt so disgusting. Like even when I was eating it though, I felt a little bit off, you know, because I haven't eaten, like I'm, I haven't eaten like a steak or like a pork chop or a big chicken breast in a hot minute like it's been months and months and months since i've eaten anything like that so to eat big pieces of meat i think was just too much for me and it, and after i just felt disgusting the taste in my mouth of the meat and i'm i'm not eating meat anymore guys at all it was just a horrible experience like little bits and pieces i guess i could tolerate but i don't even want to do that anymore after that experience it was not pretty it was a hot mess, guys. I did not... Ugh. I'm just reliving the moment right now and just remembering the taste in my mouth. Uh, not like of the uh, puke, but of like the meat. It was just like, ugh. Anyway, yeah. No more meat. I'm completely freaking pescatarian. So I'll eat seafood and all plant-based, but I'm not eating chicken or beef or blam or anything of that sort anymore. I think that was just my... Um, that was my breaking point. My... <laughs> um, my light bulb turning on it was just i i'm i mean i'm i'm okay with people who eat meat for the most part cuz that's got to respect other people's point of view but for me it was not good it was not good at all so no more meat for miss philly officially done eating meat even bits and pieces at least or if i'm going to eat something that has meat i'm going to like pick it out and just eat the veggies i don't know if that's cheating i feel like it's not because you're not really eating the meat. You're just eating the things around that was cooked with the meat. Anyway, that's an update. Completely pescatarian now.